Hello everyone, welcome to this video from Optimal Ninja. In this presentation, I'm going to show you a cool trick with Ninja Trader that you can use to double the amount of information on screen without having to load any extra charts or indicator panels. Now, when most people think of financial traders, they often picture something like this, multiple monitors, lots of charts, and numerous indicator panels. It looks highly technical and specialist and helps convince your family that it's all very respectable and you're not just gambling like your friends at the racetrack. Now, whilst it's helpful to keep your family on side, I've never been keen on monitoring additional charts or indicator panels when I'm trading. And over the years, I have removed them one by one to use just one monitor and a single chart. So what's the problem with indicator panels? Well, we've probably all heard the term price is king, and this is a phrase that it's wise to remember whatever your strategy. In my view, the most important consideration in discretionary trading is context. Indicator signals should always be filtered through the prism of price. In simple terms, where has price come from? Where has price moved to? And what happened on the way there? These are the primary questions to ask during a live session, not least because focusing on context helps keep you out of low probability trades. For instance, say you happen to be using a standard price based indicator like stochastics. In this uptrend, if you started to focus on the overbought message of stochastics rather than price, you might have thought that it was a good idea to start shorting each of these reversal bars, which would not have turned out well. But focusing on context to this fast and powerful eight bar uptrend would have helped you view these reversal bars as more likely to be setting up trend continuation opportunities for a second leg up rather than reversals. Now I've chosen a simplistic example here, but the point is this, the danger with indicator panels is that they dilute your focus away from the market towards something that is derived from the market. And this is usually a suboptimal method of analysis. Now, of course, indicators have value. Order flow tools particularly provide powerful clues that can improve the probabilities greatly. And I'm not advocating trading using price alone. But what you don't want to be doing is continually shifting focus from price panel to indicator panel and indicator panel to price panel. Aside from the context issue that I've just described, it's very tiring on the eyes and the brain to keep looking up and down the chart during a session, as anyone who has had more than one indicator panel on screen will attest. The second challenge with indicators is that you have to spend time interpreting them. In intraday trading, there usually isn't a whole lot of time to figure out what something means. You need instant information, and moreover, you need it in a format that you can easily process. If you can't process information quickly, then you can't action it, and it has no practical value. Now, I haven't said anything new here. These issues have been recognized for a while. This is the reason why you'll find even simple indicators like MACD often have the option to paint the price bars when there's a signal cross, so you don't have to follow the two lines. With Optimal Ninja, we've adopted this approach with all our indicators so that none of them use a separate panel, but instead use bar coloring and bar markers, allowing you to focus 100% on just the price chart. However, there is an obvious practical limitation to this approach. Pretty soon you run out of things to paint. In Ninja Trader, we can paint the bar body, the bar outline, and the chart background, and then we're done. So it looks as if we're limited to three on-screen colorings, but I'm going to show you a simple way to increase the number of paints on a bar and get double the information direct on your price bars. On screen, I've loaded a chart of Optimal Ninja normalized bars, but this technique will work on any bar type. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm using the US equities session, but you could use any session hours. I've set the color of the bar bodies to transparent for up and down bars, and I've set the candle body outline to a width of five and the bar width to 27. Now, step one, we're going to add a second identical data series to the chart by selecting it in the instrument select box. You'll see Ninja has automatically populated the fields of the second data series identically with the first, except for the session hours, which we need to change to match the first data series. This is an essential point to note. The second data series properties must be identical to the first, or you'll get misaligned bars. So now we have two identical data series loaded on the same chart. Step two, we're going to make the secondary data series, that's this one at the bottom, narrower. To do this, left click on the bar outline and then use Alt plus up arrow to make the bars narrower. I've set them to about two thirds of the width of the primary series at the top. Now, step three is the cool part. Left click on the bar outline and drag the second data series to the top panel. You'll now have two identical bars plotting in real time, one inside the other. 
By now I'm sure you've guessed where we're going with this. With two sets of bars on the screen, it's possible to have four bar painting conditions visible simultaneously. We can now paint the outside bar body, the outside bar outline, the inside bar body, and the inside bar outline. So let's have a quick look at this with some optimal order flow tools. Firstly, let's paint the outline of the outer bar with easy imbalance. To do this, we select data series one in the input series box. As you can see, we now have imbalance signal coloring on the outline of the wide bars. Now let's paint the body and the outline of the narrow bar with another indicator, Optimal Volume Profile. To do this, I'm simply adding Volume Profile to the other data series. So now we have two separate volume profile signals on the inside bar and imbalance logic coloring on the outside bar. This makes three order flow color conditions visible on a single bar. And because we've still got the body of the wider bar to paint, we've got room to add a further condition. For instance, we can use optimal order flow delta or optimal swing volume or an indicator of your choice. The beauty of this is that you can easily combine the color coding of multiple optimal indicators onto a single bar to instantly gauge prevailing strength. No need to look at other charts or panels, you're free to focus on price, action and context. This makes it very simple to start finding the best entries. And at this point I will sign off. As always, I hope you found this video interesting. My name is Richard, I look forward to presenting to you again shortly. For more information, check out our website at OptimalNinja.com and I wish you well with your trading.